a botanist, an entomologist, a writer, a poet, a theoretician, and a teacher at the Ecole Nationale Supérieure de Versailles. So after all those titles, I think he prefers to be known as a global gardener. He began designing gardens in the 70s, um, developing his particular approach, the Jardin en Mouvement, the garden in movement, which he's going to be talking to us about tonight, in his own garden, uh, which is in central France, known as La Vallée, a wonderful wooded valley with scrub oak and beeches, where he has allowed the plants to almost design themselves, to um, come into blossom, to seed, and to reappear next year, maybe in a different place. And that concept was transferred to the Parc André Citroën, which I guess is the project that you all know him best for. Um, in Paris, in, it opened in 1992. It was one of Mitterrand's Grand Projets. And Gilles won that competition together with Alain Provo, and so they were forced into some kind of marriage and um, collaborated on the project. But his part, the garden in movement, is very special, albeit in one corner. And of course, he also designed the cereal gardens, which represent the transformation from lead into gold, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Other major gardens, which you may not know, include an early one, the Abbé de Valois, uh, in Paris, the Arche de la Défense, the Musée Quai Branly, which he did with uh, Jean Nouvel, and very recently, that's the same, 2005, the, he helped on the restoration of Lawrence Johnston's garden in France, uh, Serre de la Madone. Now, from the early 1990s, he's also been writing a series of polemical novels and essays, which all reflect his views on globalization, on biodiversity, ways of safeguarding the maximum number of living creatures on the planet by rethinking the boundaries and conceiving the whole planet as a global garden. And from September 1999 until 2000, there was an exhibition, which some of you may have seen, I certainly did, at the Grand Halle of the Parc de la Villette, um, which Gilles mounted, and it was called Le Jardin Planétaire, the Global Garden. And that reflected a lot of the ideas which he's going to be talking about tonight. Last year, he mounted another exhibition in Quebec, <coughs> Um, together with our own former teacher, Philippe Ram. And that reflects some of his most recent thinking, and a book is going to be published about that exhibition in April, and Derek will have that in the library. Meanwhile, I also have some books here just to show you. Unfortunately, at the moment, they're all in French, Le Jardin Planétaire, and most recently, a monograph in Ecology Humaniste, a Humanist Ecology. My pleasure to introduce Gilles Clément. Bonsoir. Well, I'm very happy to be there. So long time. I will try to speak English. Uh, my English is, uh, is a sort of French English, so je fais comme je peux. Um, it's probably too um, difficult to explain exactly what is the Jardin Planétaire, Planetary Garden or Global Garden, as Sandra said, but uh, you can consider that um, you are you, you you belong to the to, you, you are the citizens of the planet and you are probably, uh, even if you don't know, you are probably the gardeners of this planet because uh, everything you do has a consequence in the environment. And for me, <coughs> what is important in, the, in my job is not, uh, is, is, is not the design, 
it is not um, the functional part of the public space or the formal uh, system, but um, probably the life. I, I mean, means what is the the, the, the things the thing which which is uh, more precious and um, impredictable. Just before showing pictures, uh, sorry, I use slides, which is a very archaic system, but useful. Uh, I, I want to give you some definitions. On dit ça, définition, oui? For the words landscape, environment, and garden. Um, Sandra say I'm archi landscape architect. I, I just say I'm gardener, of course, but um, in France, we don't have any landscape architect because the ar architects don't like that <laughs> the gardeners use the term of architecture. Architect. I'm okay with that because I think that uh, we are completely in, in the uh, complementary, in the complementary position, and uh, we 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 can speak about the life and the, the architect can speak about something else uh, and together we, we, we make something uh, like a, a dialogue. But landscape is something, the word landscape is very special and very quite impossible to, to, give, to give it a, a good definition. I just said uh, the landscape is what you have under your glance, your, le regard, that's all. So everything can be a landscape. And it is a very subjective thing. For instance, if we compare um, the, the vision of an English bit, uh, looking at a field with a very green grass and uh, the green trees around, and uh, the vision of uh, Neo New Guinean, for instance, a Papu, and it's uh, looking at the same thing. The English say it is a, it's a lawn with a nice, nice place, like a, well, a playground with trees, okay. It's green. And the others say it is quite uh, bitter, like le amertume, amer. You know what is bitter? But it is completely different. Two different cultures. They, they, they see the same landscape. So the landscape is something very subjective. Environment is completely different, the opposite. You can explain the landscape with the vocabulary of the environment and in every part of the world everybody understands what happened. It is an objective system to, to describe what happened. But of course it is not affective and not, there is no emotion in the environment. The garden is made of both landscape and environment both the system, you, the emotional uh, perception and the scientific compos composite inside. But the garden is, a, is something very particular. It is an enclosure. This is the definition. Garden comes from a, a Germanic uh, garden. And uh, the, that means the, the l'enclos, the enclosure. And inside, you protect what is the better, the best, the best of the life, the best of the, the vegetables, the best of the trees and fruits and flowers, etc. But the best of the way of life. So, um, what, are, what are we protecting today? What is the best? And I say that all along the story, um, the garden is the the unique situation where the, 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 la rencontre, the meeting between nature and people is authorized with a dream. It's a place for utopia. You, do, you don't have any other place Mix, mixing um, nature and, and uh, l'homme et la nature for, for, the, um, for, for developing, sorry, sorry you, I suppose you understand, 
a sort of utopia. What is the utopia today? What is the good utopia? Well, um, it's probably um, it's, it's probably something linked to the ecology. And for me, it has been this for a long time, from the beginning, when I was starting in my job. So the diversity is a very interesting point. It is the, the, um, the material you can have surprise, many surprises in the garden with the diversity. And it is uh, the, um, the, the pool, genetic pool of the invention of the, of the life. If you have only one species in your garden, the chance to have something, some, some being new is, is quite, there is no chance. So in my own garden, I try to manage it uh, with uh, the, um, the idea to, to, to obtain the, the biggest di the diversity, even in plants and all plants and animals. All the animals are very, very important also for me. But the diversity is not only the collection of the species. It is also, also uh, a difference of behavior. The behavior is something very interesting. Very often, in, if you compare this, the different uh, individuals in the same species, you have different behaviors. This is also a kind of diversity. And the last thing I'm sure it's important for me and is the brassage. Please, Sandra. Brassage. In intermingling. Intermingling. I, I say that uh, um, in the in the world because I travel a lot and I, I saw that a lot of different species coming from Europe. I living in Australia, coming from Chile in America, etc. It, it's like in, inside a washing machine. So this is the intermingling, intermingling. So a garden is, of course, the place where the, the intermingling has been here for a long time. Toujours. So um, I am not uh, really, um, even if ecology is, is, is the way, is my way, I am not a deep ecologist, you understand. So I want to show some pictures to explain some things. Um, you can you can light off. Put the light put the light off, please. Oh Sandra, this is the wedding day rose. This is the wedding day rose tree on the right. But, but I, I don't want to show that this is a place in my garden. Uh, this is the, uh, the this picture shows a very common plant, a verbascum, uh, very common. You can see it in the along the road. Um, it is like a <coughs> traveling plant. I say vagabond. It's able to travel in in the garden. It is a biennial. It dies after after the seeds. It disappears, and he, he, um, these plants. Go far away, maybe two, three meters, maybe very, very far away in the garden, in the place where it's able to live, and it's only able to live on the, on the ground where the ground has been removed. So the the, the small places you see, like uh, like uh, spots, brown spots, as are like uh, labor, le no, uh, labour, uh, le the, the, the bean has been removed by moles. You know what is moles? What are moles? Animals. And so this this is the this is very very uh, um, um, necessary for these this small little seeds of these plants. If if the, the, you don't have this place for the seeds, um, they cannot live inside this very very uh, thick grass. 
around. So the moles are gardening with me in my garden motion. I say garden in motion or garden in movement, it depends on the traduction. This is another, <coughs> another um, um, compartment uh, behavior, special, very interesting. We think that trees are only, how do we call them individuals, Sandra? Uh, individu, an individu. Individual? Okay. Uh, a tree is not an individual, R not really. Um, we think actually that uh, the tree is like a colony <coughs> of different trees um, linked in, in the, 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 the axis principle. This tree is an apple tree. It fell long time ago and I decided to keep it lying like this on the, on the ground. And uh, a new tree grows, like you can see a lot of them, and I selected only one. It, it is, is growing, is growing on, the, on the trunk. Actually, the tree is like this. It's a very uncommon apple tree. Uh, still, the, the roots are on the, on the right side, and there is no roots uh, in the, the, the vertical uh, trunk, but on the right, like before. And it, the scientific consider that uh, it is a, a way of revival. And we, we cannot know exactly the age, the, how many years old is a tree when you see a tree in the nature. It's probably very old, probably not. You, you, to, to, to know exactly the, the, how many, you have to cut it and, it's, and, and to know how many uh, circles he, he got. So, I don't want to kill my apple tree. This, that was a very interesting event because it was impossible to, to, to go with a, a machine to, for obtaining a, lo a loan under the tree because the trunk uh, was an obstacle, you know. And it happens something very interesting. New species come from the grass. And that was the beginning of the one of the system, beginning system of the garden in motion. This picture shows the, the gardener in the Parc André Citroën. The gardener is uh, designing the, f the, the form of the, the, the garden with the, what, happened, it is, what happened in the garden. Um, he decides what he wants to, 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 to keep and what he wants to cut and take off. So this gardener is like a designer. He's not only a people who is maintaining the garden to make it clean, but it's also somebody who is able to, to choose the different design, the form. And this is depends of what happened. In each season, season it, it, it change, of course, because those plants which are flowerings uh, are annual, biannuals or perennials, but anyway, they, they are also traveling plants and they change the places in the garden. So the garden changes also. <coughs> in this garden, which is in the south of France, the, the um, Diversity is uh, here, is um, le, le, le sujet, comment dit-on un sujet, le réflexion, un thème, the theme, is about, uh, about on, for me, is only about the fire. This, is a guard, this garden is just in, under a climate, a Mediterranean climate. In those countries, there is a lot of different fires. Every year, you know, very different and uh, very many fires and many, many dangerous fires. I made a garden here speaking about fire because traveling around the world in different countries where you can meet uh, Mediterranean climate, I saw that uh, all the plants who, which are living there need the fire to survive uh, the different, uh, in a different ways. For instance, some seeds need a thermic shock uh, to wake up. 
if the, the, the fire don't come, they, they don't, they just sleep until, until the, the fire come, you know. Some fruits open and, and push away the seeds just after the fire. And if the fire don't come, the fruit don't open. Even if with a hammer, you, you, you don't succeed to open it, etc., uh, etc. Et so uh, it was interesting to speak about the behavior of, this, of these different plants. So this is not a real garden in motion, in, but uh, this is a garden which, which speak, speaks about the, the diversity under those different climates. We can see the cistus. For instance, this part, I designed a, very, a big axis and that's all, and different land, landscapes, the Chilean one, the, the South African one, etc., uh, separated by hedges inside um, this, this garden is 25 hectares, more or less. The cistus, this plant, flowering in white and, white and rose and pink, um, we, we, we crop the seeds, and we put it in a in pan, uh, the pan uh, not to cook the seeds, but just to, chuck, to, to give it a chalk, you know, in a few seconds. And after that, it's possible to uh, to obtain uh, new plants. If 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 you don't do that, of course we don't pull the fire in in the garden. Is to in, and so we we need we need to comment dit-on rajeunir. Uh, new, new and young plants, and if if we don't do that, those those sisters die, and that's all. This is the the New Zealand landscape in the Domaine du Rayol. Domaine du Rayol is the name of this garden. Uh, it's inspired by the landscape of New New Zealand. All those plants are pyro pyrophyta. Pyrophyta, that means uh, plants which are able to live with fire. The black boys we introduced in Domaine du Rayol come from this part in south west of Australia, near Perth, in Stirling Ranges. Um, the black boy is a very special tree, it's not real, uh, really a tree, uh, it's, um, the, it's not a trunk, it's similar to a palm tree. And uh, the um, English, when they come for the first time in Australia, they saw those uh, special and very strange trees, black, because the fire um, burnt the trunk, and with the hairs uh, on top, and uh, the flowering system like, is like a, a javelot, a very special thing and they say it is like an aborigine in the war, so they call it black boys. Uh, the trunk is not really a trunk and the, there is a protecting system which is made with the basis of the, each leaf. It's, it's a, pyro, a passive pyrophyta, it resists to fire but also active pyrophyta because it needs fire force for making flowers and, also f and uh, of course seeds. This is another place, this is in France. Uh, sorry, the f picture is not good, but at the beginning, um, uh, the building is, uh, is, a, is a building, a special building for Volcano. It's a touristic center, cl close to Clermont-Ferrand. The architect is Hans Olein. And I had to make, uh, make a garden um, outside there is uh, maybe 60 hectares, and also a small garden inside in a greenhouse, temperature about 18 to 20 degrees centigrade. So I choose a plant I know in the world which are able to grow with a low maintenance in the basalt, basalt rock, which is very special, poor and strong. So uh, it is my choice, my choice is, I mean, three ferns, three different species. We have been to New Zealand to, 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 to buy, not to buy, but to... Ah, uh, nous avons fait un sauvetage. A rescued of ferns in a, in a forest of pine, under the pines, 
pines of 14, uh, 40, uh, 40 or 50 years old, they cut the pine and uh, the tree ferns growing under the pine are destroyed. So we, we rescue, we, we take off the, uh, those trees. All those, those fern trees get uh, some very old, like uh, probably 14 years old, six meters uh, till Till, till eight meters high, and it is very easy to to grow. They grow freely. There is no problem. We we just had to 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 make to put a, a mist system. So it's a very it's a for the public is very touristic place. This is the outside part with very uh, different uh, species, of course. Um, they have been to resist to the frost in winter because it, it, it's very, very cold in this corner of France. And, uh, but they don't need uh, maintenance. All the gardens I try to do are uh, low maintenance garden. And with no, 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 no chemicals, no chemicals, no water, etc. For instance, around the, the, the center, uh, you can find these these uh, plants, they're free, they, um, they grow freely and we don't do nothing to, no, 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 guard, no special gardening. This is the forest in New Zealand. I don't know why the, the New Zealander asked us to, to, bear, to wear hel helmets, present, no danger in this, but, well. And we choose to the, the ferns just a few days after they cut all the trees. This is an example um, very different because we are in the, t in the town. Est-ce qu'on peut mettre au point? I think the focus may be a bit more. Okay. Um, the Jardin de l'Arche is just in front of Arche de la Défense and between two cemeteries. At the beginning, a big uh, highway was uh, go going, try to go in, 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 in Paris, to Paris, but it stops and long time stay in the, uh, in the, in the very it's strange situation without cars. They destroy it and they put it in the, in a, it's an highway, an underground highway actually, and the, the garden is on, it's like a promenade. But we, we also remade the landscape of um, the cemetery. The architect is Paul Shemitov, only for the GT, the GT is the sort of bridge coming from uh, the arch and going far away to the west direction between the cemetery uh, just over the garden. And what I wa want to do here, it is a sort of um, an expressive garden uh, speaking about nature um, because uh, in this place it's a very strong and hard place uh, with many, many concrete buildings, wind, etc., mineral, uh, nothing uh, soft. So um, I want to, to say that it's possible for nature to exist and to live even in these difficult situations. And you cannot go st straightly, you have to turn around the islands of plants. Of course, it is not a real garden in motion, but uh, anyway, some. Some plants like uh, Heracleum come from an island to another island. And also, uh, surtout, you, 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 um, you have to, to meet the big leaves of the Gunera, which is a very strange plant. Guneras come from Chile, but they grow here. We just have to protect it in the winter with a special hats. We design it, and we have just to, to, to change the size when the the, pl the plant is, <laughs> is growing up every year. And the limits are made with um, are soft limits. There is no fence, only gramineas, things like that. And on the other side, you can see the cemeteries. 
Uh, this, uh, that was the, 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 no the north side, the south side, it is another system. But uh, um, in everywhere, you, it is, the design is like organic. And the ground, the soil is very special. Uh, we we, we inv invite the different mosses to go in, inside, in between the small stones. Like, like that. And the, the concrete, the, c'est pas le concrete, c'est le lien, is made with chalk. And, yeah, yeah. And it, 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 it can be um, removed or, uh, c'est like elastic, like a, uh, an elastic, an elastic, um, uh, la peau? Um, skin. The skin, like a skin. And the roots of the big salix, big uh, source, source trees, white, are uh, uh, terrible roots. So the, uh, the, the, this skin is, is able to, to, you know, to make wa waves. On the, it's not dangerous, and, it, and the, you, 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 you don't see the, the, um, the, the disaster of, uh, of the 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 white the terrace the beautiful terrace is uh, destroyed you know it is completely different this is for birds just a small pool of water this in another example completely different uh, there is absolutely no diversity just one plant a grass a tropical grass we are in la réunion saint denis de la réunion in a tropical island, south of uh, Hemisphera, close to Madagascar, you know. And this house has been uh, completely destroyed by a fire, the garden too. So, um, the, the architect rebuilt it like, like that, it's an historical house. And I propose a sort of a dry fountain with, with a grass. The grass is Puganoterum paniceum, a grass very common. We, 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 we walk on this, this plant. But I want to say that even the, 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 the smallest plants are interesting. So this is a fountain for uh, making a, 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 gr a star, a grass like a star, you know. There is another grass on the side, and the pillars are here. Um, because it is possible to make uh, a floor on, on the, the system, a woody floor. And like that, if you are a party, many people can come on the, on the garden, even on the fountain, because it is a very, very small garden, but it is a public garden, an official building. This is the grass. This is like a... Uh, uh, a bamboo, a very, very small bamboo, but it is not. And we prune it like wa in waves, waves form on the top. And at night, the, some lead system for lights come on just on the, the grass. This is a basalt. The stone is basalt. The island is completely volcanic. It's a volcano. This is so it's like a sculpture, but uh, even if you, in this garden the maintenance is very, very low, no, no problem. Now, I want to speak um, about these studies. This, c'était une étude, comment dit-on une étude, une étude de paysage, Sandra. Study, but I know, I know, I don't know if it is exactly the same. Uh, yeah. yeah, study, of course. Okay. The, um, <coughs> we are in the center of France, and they ask me in this corner, Limousin, just around the Lac de Vassivière, a big lake. They ask me to, uh, to 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 tell it, to tell what is this landscape? What is the landscape we have here? So uh, I know this country well, 
One, uh, 100 years ago, well, I was not here 100 years ago, of course, but I, I know that there was no one tree. Only um, fields and uh, the land, alors là, je ne connais pas le mot land, the land in France, in France are the, 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 the ground where grow the heathers. Yeah, more land. A lot of more land, poor soils. But uh, 100 years ago, they, they decided to make uh, this, to transform completely the country and to plant a lot of trees, uh, mostly conifers. So I consider this uh, landscape as a binary system. The darkness is the trees, coniferas, and the light and the clear, clear landscape is the, are the, is the fields. Two. two, only two terms. If you look at this landscape in uh, in term of uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, plastic system, I w was looking for diversity, and there is no thing under the trees, no plants growing, and in the fields n a few diversity because the, the, this is, is the territory of the engineer, forest engineer and forest agronom engineer for the fields and actually they use a lot of different chemicals and so the, the, the species are going out. Of course the grass <laughs> is, uh, is good for the cows but if you look at something else you don't find it. You can see on the top the fields, the, the forest, and the fields here, nothing. But between, there is another landscape, completely different. You, you, you can see different forms, different colors. This is, I call it the third landscape. This part is like an abad abandoned ground. Nobody is taking off, and there is no no farmer, nobody here, only two, two houses, but that's all. And I found all the diversity in this country only on the, on the places, abandoned places. In this picture it is a big place, but in other cases it are few, few places. For instance, you can, you can see under the, the conifers, nothing. But if you go a uh, little far away from these places, you can meet different peat places with water. Nobody come here, but you find a lot of different species, many, many things. It's, it's very easy to, to see on this picture or this kind of uh, places in the dry, on the top of the hills in the dry situations. <coughs> very interesting too or the, the pools, the water, also the places where nobody does, nobody, nothing here. Just nature, a lot of different things. Also the places where um, it's impossible to go because the slopes are too uh, difficult. The machine come, can not go inside and uh, they are all abandoned. Many species, this is a protected plant we, we call it a silver, silver button. Of course, it's possible to find very strange things like that, a very old car. We, we cannot understand where, uh, how this car came here. This is very far away from the place, from the open places. But it is... And the, we are close to the... <coughs> The art art center of Vassivière. The architect is Aldo Rossi. You probably know it, know him. And uh, in um, after the big uh, hurricane in 1999 and at the Christmas time it was terrible. And all the trees fall down, and a lot of different flowers come from the just after that. In the spots. Uh, where the trees fall, because the light 
can can reach the soil in this in these places. So, so there's so, so I call it wild gardens in these places, and the diversity is uh, very very big in these places. This is a very big fresh. This is fresh is a French name. Abandoned ground, just around Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires. The the town decided long time ago to to um, build uh, uh, to to build the, the um, to make a new urbanism on on a, on the Rio de la Plata. And they p push the, the ground on the on the on the on the river. I don't know if you, if you understand me because my English is so poor. I'm sorry, but probably you understand. So it was like a, a removing ground poop like that, and and just uh, waiting for a new town. But they don't had the money to build it, and twenty years after. The ecologist decided that it was so interesting because many different species and uh, unusual species living here, and now is 300 or more hectares, which are the ecological park of Buenos Aires. So it's very interesting. So I decided to uh, call those abandoned ground in the in the world the third landscape. Because the the first one was forest, the darkness, etc. Maybe the buildings also. The second was the light, the clear, the public space, maybe, etc. If you make the comparison with the town. And what is the, the third? The third one is the places where the human beings are not making anything. They don't do nothing. Just like that, nature do what they have to do, what it has to do. So, um, for me, it is interesting because all the diversity come here. It's a it's a rescue too. It's a, it's a special uh, place for the the plants, animals, and maybe human beings also, which are pulled away for from the other places, because in a field there is nothing. In a, in a corn corn culture, you, you cannot only you, you see only the corn. That's all. Only one species. You understand. So the places for the diversity are very narrow. For instance, all along the roads, here in France, on the other side of the edge, nothing. On the road, nothing. But between, something. Here in Gloucestershire, in England, with a very nice antriscus, same. And the people who, who is uh, uh, in charge to maintain the the borders on on the on the roads, uh, they, they have a big responsibility, because the future is in this fur landscape. If we consider that the pool, the genetic pool, is in those places, so the invention of the life is here, we have to protect it, and we have to know what happened here. This is another maintaining system. We also have a special diversity uh, linked to the animals. Uh, this this horse is making a sort of mint garden because it, it doesn't like the mint. And the third landscape has not scale. This is a lichen, a very small plant. It belongs to the third landscape too. If we want to speak about all the diversity, we have to add also the plants which are in the reserves in the world, where nobody come because they, those places are protected completely. This is a mangrove, 
uh, in close in Gabon, it's close to Franville, a very big one, and protected at the moment. But um, not all the mangrove places are protected in the world. Many uh, touristic uh, program are actually are on, and the diversity here is not very important with trees, but very important with animals. We we can meet some fishes climbing on the trees, for instance, very special and crab, etc. A lot of protein uh, foods. So here we are under um, the fields, sugar cane fields in uh, Mauritius, and you can see that the third landscape on the top is uh, um, a sort of island, and here is like a, a small stream, the places where the machines are not uh, able to, to come. I had to design a carton, the tapestry, for a tapestry, uh, design, I don't know how to say a carton, a model, a pattern maybe, a pattern for a tapestry. Because in, in, my, re, in my, my, my place, I'm living in the Limousin, there are, there are two towns where the tradition is making tapestry. One is the, the blue spot on the high, is uh, Aubusson, and the other, Feltin, eight kilometers between the two towns. The, this is the Vallée de la Creuse, a river, another vallée, small on the, the, this one. Um, the, the red spots are the trees, few diversities, and uh, they are red because uh, we are in, uh, in summer and it is a, a strong activity. The grass is not so strong because uh, it's, it's, it's becoming to, to sleep a little bit, it's, it's a pale green. But the yellow and orange are in the part in the abandoned part of this zone. So I choose do, those do two colors to speak about the third landscape. Another season is in autumn, the trees, uh, the, the leaves, the trees, um, the, the leaves fall down, but the, the, gr the grass is very active, so the grass is red. But for the third landscape, I, it is the same because the activity is the same. At the end, I decided to take off the, all the, the, the different, um, um, <coughs> different parts uh, which are ruled by men, and I only keep the third landscape. We can see that in this kind of landscape, which is very natural, but and re really it's not because uh, you can see that uh, the <coughs> diversity is uh, on very, very narrow places. Actually, this tapestry uh, mid uh, six meters square is already made. This is the only project I had the opportunity to, 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 to do uh, Speaking about the third landscape is a Lille, Lille uh, just in front of the railway station TGV. May I have a spot for, a light spot for, no, do you not have a light spot? No, no, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. So um, the square is grass and you can see an island. At the beginning it was a hill made with the, the different uh, um, things they, they dig off f f to, to build the station, um, more than high meters. I decided to conserve, to keep the, the center part of this island and to dedicate it to only nature, not for men. All around it is a public space. The form is the form of an island which exists in the south, uh, in the Antipoda, close to New Zealand. 
Antipoda of the town of Lille, and very isolated in the ocean. The system is the same because it is like a sanctuary. So the, this is the Antipoda Island. We had to choose a very special form because uh, the architect of monument, histor historic monument, refused the square form that I designed before because they said the square form is a military form and uh, we are under the, we are over the, the fortification of Vauban. We don't see, it is impossible to see anything because that, it has disappeared, completely destroyed and disappeared, but the, you know, what? So one year fighting, and I lose because uh, I changed my form. But anyway, this is the the island. It is um, made with concrete. Thank you very much. The, con the wall concrete um, say say it better as high. Bon, ça marche pas. Mm. Well, doesn't matter. And on the top, the nature is made, is making his own landscape. One time a year, we go on top to um, um, make the list of the different species which are uh, growing. And uh, we use the same plants on the ground to obtain the lowest maintenance possible. The, 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 great, the greatest part of the charge, for, uh, if we speak about maintenance, is, the, is pruning the lawn, that's all. This is the Derborance, we call it Derborance Island. Um, <coughs> it's related to a an, an forest which has been destroyed at the moment of the competition. Ah. It died? No. Uh, this uh, is um, the manager. Uh, I've been one time with him, once with him to to see what happened on the top. <coughs> it is a very strange uh, project in France, the only one in this case. And uh, the people which was living around um, was afraid by it because it doesn't like uh, clean, you know. Uh, so. Um, we had a lot of people against, but now everybody is okay. Uh, there is a big lawn, okay, this is simple park, uh, with a low maintenance. You can see the, the building of Port Zampard, another one, Jean Nouvel, everybody is there. Uh, many people there. And um, the slopes like that are flowering. In the, the wood, which is a public wood, um, on the other side of the island, some clearer, clearer are made like that with trunks destroyed. Uh, it is a good reason for a light in the forest. Another is because the rocks, for instance, there are a lot of different rocks here. The trees cannot grow and you, you can find heathers and bamboos. And we have, like this, um, um, s four small gardens inside the, the wood part on the other side of the island. This is the Projet de Lille. Um, for me, it's one of the maybe more important, but uh, completely unknown. The last experience is, um, I want to show you is the field. The field belongs to me. I bought it 10, 11 years ago now, and at the beginning it was only covered of one grass, only one species. I was looking for diversity, so I removed the ground and I seed 40, 40 species of flower. At the beginning, um, a lot of different plants grow, but not on no one from my choice. <laughs> See, but it was a nice landscape anyway. Only the second year become to, to grow the plants I seed. So you have to wait if you want to do that. Patient. 
patience. But the diversity was here anyway. And interesting, uh, some of those plants disappeared now because they are annual or biannuals and the perennials come very slowly. Some seeds only start growing five years after the seedling. Like for the seeds of Campanula, for instance. This is a, a wind uh, a summer season with the Molen, uh, Verbascum and other plants. On the right side, uh, the focus is... I'm sorry, can you check it? Thank you. The, on the right side, you can see the the um, uh, the témoin, say, the witness, witness part. Is it? No, the witness is the dog, of course. But on the side, on the right, uh, um, the the part where I didn't do anything, and the place with the seeds. The the pictures has been shoot five years after the beginning, so. Five years after the beginning of this experience, there was no plant coming from the left going to the right because it, it is too thick and too um, closed, impossible for the plants to grow. Now it become to be possible ten years after. Also the caterpillars, the different animals are very important. This one is a poison for birds. The butterfly is very nice, it's red and black, and it, it, it rules the, the uh, invasive plants of Senecio. And it's very interesting for that. This one rules the invasive plant of Verbascum. It's a very mimetic one. Nice, uh, nice caterpillar. Of course, I don't use any uh, product to kill it. We need those, those species. Uh, the entomologic uh, knowledge is important because it is the key to maintain the uh, the chain, uh, ah, chain, the chain, the ecologic chain. This is the caterpillar of a very nice butterfly. If you disturb it. Uh, push away two horns, uh, all round horns, that smells carrot, to afraid the predators. It's, it's terrible. Also, spiders, this one is very nice, with the female of an argiop. The, the male is uh, small and quite invisible. This butterfly is very common. Uh, the, the, the food of the, the caterpillar is the urtica. Uh, urtica is this plant, it's a very important plant. Um, you know it, of course. Uh, what? Teasel. teasel. You know what is teasel? teasel. Yes. It's a very interesting plant because we can do it sort of tea with water. You know, and if you use it, uh, it's better than everything. It uh, you, you spray the plant with this uh, mixture. Uh, okay, right. you can eat the seeds. You can do, it. and it also it's food for the caterpillars of these animals. M not only this one, three or four species of Vanessa. So you need thistles in your garden, sure. The, 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 the butterfly on the right side is a good bio-indicator. If you see it, it's good. This is another very common, but uh, interesting anyway. The caterpillar is living on a tree, a crategus, not on this plant. This is my raft, um, the field raft. I, I, I call it the field raft um, because uh, you know, maybe you, you probably know it exists the, the raft of the canopy on the top of the forest, uh, tropical forest. I've been there with the scientific in Gabon, and uh, well, my my raft is uh, is not uh, is not traveling on the top of the canopy, of course, but it is on the canopy 
of the, uh, the canopy. The term of canopy is well, the interface, the superficie of my of my field. And I have two binoculars, one for the short lens and one, one another to see far away. That's, this is the good way to observe the insects. My raft. Now, I just, uh, the end of the, this um, <coughs> lecture is another, another, um, another way to speak about the diversity. Is the surprise, it is what happened, the behavior, the, the way also to, to, um, um, to live in, uh, in the, in the to how, how do the humanity to live in this, in, in, the, in the landscape, in the country, etc. And I've been very surprised by this sort of land art, spontaneous land art in Bali. We are in Bali, in Indonesia. At the moment uh, where the, 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 the rice fields are beginning to make the seeds, the, the small birds come and want to eat it. So they pull a lot of different, many, many, many uh, pieces of plastic they cut it in plastic bags and they think that uh, it can be afraid the birds. There are also different systems, uh, noisy systems with small stones in tins, with uh, uh, xylophone, etc. But the birds like that. <laughs> this is the Chinese system. They don't cut the the piece is uh, just the bag, or the b main bag. It is the noise. They think the noise is more important. This plastic is special, very noisy, and it is a windy part close to Shanghai, like Thai. Oh, this is not uh, decided, just uh, <coughs> the capture of the bags. At the beginning in Morocco, we are close to Marrakesh, the bags uh, were, uh, were transparent and uh, silvery. After that, they made black bags, and now we can find black and white bags in the Spanish rubs. It is a very special landscape. This is very interesting too. Uh, it's close to Anaba. <clears throat> it is the place where people, young people, come to make love, to to meet. It's very difficult for the pe for the pe uh, Algerian people to have meeting between the different uh, uh, girls and girls and men. You know, so they go far away from the town, uh, and they, in in car, they stay there and they drink some, you know, and after that they. they they made a sort of special floor. Uh, this is incredible. Uh, this town is Santa Cruz, close to, in south of Santiago. And because the town is Santa Cruz, <laughs> and because this is a wine country, they designed, uh, they built the cross with, um, I don't know what is the name of Tono. Wine barrel, yes, incredible surprise. Um, this is a surprise too. The the tree wh who is which is eating the fence. <laughs> it's a pine tree in Johannesburg. This is incredible too. Very interesting. It is in the um, uh, Forbidden City in Sha in Pekin, and. It was Im Im imprevisible to, to observe a woman walking in this garden which, with a coat the same color of the wall. So for me it is very interesting because in minute, one minute after it disappeared, you know, and I had the chance to, to have a, a, a camera this day. Oh, this. Well, this is a... A surprise too <laughs> in the Pamplemousse garden in Mauritius. 
the white, the, the yellow flowers. I call it yellow flowers. I like it very much, this one. It was in Scotland. Maybe you, you don't see what is written on the top of the, the door. Uh, you, you can see. <laughs> It's incredible, isn't it? So this is the last. Um, the last, but I want just to, to show you another one. It is not a slide, it's the lustre, the chandelier. This, uh, this installation is speaking about diversity. Uh, we are in Montreal, actually, uh, the exhibition is, uh, is, is, is still um, yes, until June. It began in October. <coughs> we um, we have been to crop in in the in a small part, very close to CCA. C CCA is uh, uh, Centre Canadien d'Architecture, Montréal, uh, in the Abaddon Ground. The different uh, the different uh, things we found, the diversity of this part. I mean, plants, seeds, uh, f flowers, uh, fruits, part of animals like uh, snails or dead snails, of course. Um, but also the Colgate tube or teens, uh, many things. And because I had to speak about third landscape in this exhibition, this is the theme, uh, I didn't know why it was, could be, what could be the, the best way and I chose this system because everybody come to see that and after they can go to the lustre to see what is the lustre chandelier, what is the chandelier. And they understand, I hope, <laughs> what is the chandelier. What? Translated chandelier, really. Chandelier. Chandelier. Yeah. Is it... Uh, well, there is no candle, but uh, the lights come on, on, on the top, from the top. And this chandelier doesn't give the light, but it is necessary to, to make light on, because it is necessary now to know what is the diversity. Thank you. No, I, I have to fight a little bit, because my, my not now. At the beginning, it was necessary to explain what is the the project, uh, what, what, why is so important to um, to to um, to design something which is soft and uh, uh, to make the more possible with and the less possible against. So this is very difficult to explain because or, or today if you see a garden with a gardener, the gardener is a military. With a, a gardener is a military, a military, is a military man with a, a helmet, a mask, a boots and arms and, and he kill everything. You know, with, with all, all the, to make clean but we don't know why. They, they, and we have uh, this horrible system which is uh, uh, souffleuse. Um, blowing, blowing. Oh, the blowing for leaves. Okay. And you know what is that? This is completely stupid, because the humus is going away. And uh, I, I saw it was the first time it was in in, 
in New Zealand. The, the, the man was uh, blowing the leaves on the road and a bus came. So the leaves come on the other side. And he, 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 up, he tried again and another car came, etc. At the end it was time to leave, so... <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is, and this is the point for me because I, I, I need to give. Uh, it's necessary to give sort of a master, not a master plan, master plan. Of course, it is necessary. But after that, when the, the garden is already built, when the, when the building is already built, it's finished. When the garden is already in place, it's, it's beginning to live. So, in my kind of gardens, with the, 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 this way of maintenance, it's more, more uh, important to, 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 to get a gardener who is um, somebody who knows what is the life. If not, we have a, a technical, uh, superficie technical, we call it technicien surface in France, just to clean, you know, Mr. Cleaner, that's all. And they kill everything with, with the, the, the different product with smell, um, you know, the same smelling you've, you can find in the airport, etc. It's the smell thing, same thing. It's terrible. For me, it's, it's terrible. Yes, two years. I have, I have to train it. No, because no, well, but now they know what is garden in motion. Yes, still do. yes, yes, they still do, but 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 they, by themselves, I don't go there. And, and I've been just during two years between '92 and '94, and now they, they know what uh, what it's what they do. What they do uh, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Oui, oui. Mais quelles sont... Oui, oui. 
c'est vraiment euh, euh, if you if you uh, decide that the um, what do you want surprise surprise mm -hmm. surprise is something very important because uh, you can you can be uh, that it's able to modify your comportment your your it's um, it's poetic it is uh, strange etc and it is so important that you need to to respect this diversity which is able to surprise you so the gardener is in this case somebody who, who is able to decide uh, what is the place where 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 is the place he, the place where where he, he will cut everything and the places where he, he don't do anything because it is necessary to wait here and not here etc this is very very important the, 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 ce qui est privilégié is the life is the, the point not the shape form not the design not the, not the, the pattern not of course we try to do something which is aesthetic if possible but this is not really the, the, the axis of uh, reflection like the, the ce n'est pas ce qui est le plus important. Et ah, qu'est-ce que je voulais dire Oui, oui, je retrouve. Oui. So what happens about the gunnera? The what? The gunnera. Yeah. Yes. I mean, have, I mean, do you leave the gunnera behind? You know. I mean, you you wouldn't uh, use the gunnera. Because of what? Because of the third landscape, the left, the left third of the land, the land that is, has lots of self-seeding and, and its own. Uh, it's considered as an AV. Uh, what happens to the gunnera? You don't, you don't use the gunnera anymore. You do in England? No, you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 No, I know. I use everything. Okay. Yes, even the invasives. Okay. Yes. Because I, 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 I so show still structure. You still structure. No, you do structure. In, in surprise, and it is a strange plant because the leaves can reach an enormous, enormous size, and the, this is expression, the more expressive nature. You know, you can mix this this plant is extraordinary. Yes. Yeah. But you still in your own garden, for example, there is some gunner there. And um, you introduce these plants in among the other plants that are yeah. allowed to proliferate, really, don't you? So there's always a mixture of artifice within. Yes, it is. The garden is an artifice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, it's not a natural. Yes. Um, can I just, just ask what your own current thinking is on the kind of balance between um, the introduction of exotic species that kind of leads on from and the use of indigenous species. Um, because, in a sense, the use of indigenous species or development of a third landscape is a, is a, is a much more radical proposal in Europe at the moment. It's, you know, the third landscape it is the exotic landscape. Whereas every time you introduce a kind of a literally exotic plant system from New Zealand, it becomes more normative because it's something we would expect from landscape. And so I just wondered whether you're Well, for me, there is no exotic and no, no indigenous in, in, uh, in but, but, but there is. I mean, I mean you, you can't say that there's not a difference between importing yes. plants from New Zealand. I mean, there's a, there's a different act going on, there's a different aesthetic. And, and for me personally, what's more exciting is the introduction of a uh, kind of diversity which, which speaks of an exoticism within the near at hand, as opposed to that. Yeah. 
why is why is it problematic? So, but what is exotic, really? In France, uh, we have a uh, lot of Kerkus. The Kerkus, uh, the, the oak tree you, you have, even here in England. It comes from south of uh, the continent and probably Iberia, Iberica Peninsula, long time ago. And we, people think that birds, some birds, uh, uh, are uh, responsible to the propagation of this species. Uh, but before, there was no oak. Actually, the forest, French forest, is indigenous forest, is, is, is being is the oak forest. But it depends at what time of the story you are. And if, if we speak about uh, invasives, because uh, because uh, it's, a, it's a problem for many people, I. I I pretend that uh, um, there is not really danger in the invasive system if the, the matrix, the soil, the water and the air atmosphere are not polluted. Because if this system is still in life and able to, to, to fight and to um, Change the different energies, the invasion stops. Not immediately, but it stops. For instance, the, the terrible alga uh, in the Mediterranean, Colerpa taxifolia, they, they call it the killing, killing alga. Ten years ago, it was terrible. 